With these hot Oklahoma summers, naturally there are concerns about heat stress in cattle. And joining us now is Dave Lallman, our beef cattle extension specialist. And, and Dave, what are some of the things that producers need to do to kind of give the cattle their, their best advantage in these hot days? Most of them would just be common sense things. And probably one of the most uh, important things is to, if, they're, if animals have to be moved, handled, processed, whatever, it needs to be done early in the day. And so, you know, before 8 a.m. is advisable, before, before 10 a.m. certainly, uh, because their, you know, their heat uh, holding capacity, if you will, builds throughout the day. And, and uh, so earlier is cooler and it takes them long throughout the evening to cool off. So early morning is the best time. Another thing that's, that should be obvious to everyone is that cattle in this kind of weather must have adequate access to um, fresh, clean water and abundant supply because I think as, as Dr. Selk mentioned a couple of weeks ago, they can consume as much as 1% of their body weight per hour in a, in a real heat stress environment. A third thing that's important is that cattle have uh, access to shade and along with that comes uh, air circulation not just say shade but shade with air circulation so you know like a, a nice shade tree or a, a, a structured shade that has air flow through it some folks would have a like a small horse stall type barn and might think that would be a good uh, place for those cattle to get it uh, uh, some you know, get away from the heat stress, but not necessarily if it's a three-sided, solid-sided structure. They, they need airflow. Uh, finally, uh, the, the last thing I think is to try to remove other sources of stress, not, not just handling stress, but uh, nutritional stress, uh, stress-free in terms of parasites. You know, if you think about um, an animal being covered with horn flies or horse flies, you know, those are very stressful, especially if there are a lot of them. Uh, and it requires more energy, you know, they like to flip their head around and try to, try to push the flies off momentarily and switch their tails all day and so on. And it's just stressful. And so if they can work with their veterinarian to implement a good internal and external parasite control program, it'll go a long ways to helping the animals cope with heat stress. And what are some physical signs that uh, a, a cow or a part of the herd may be in trouble heat-wise? Well, they're going to, uh, as the heat builds and they get close to their upper critical temperature, they're going to start panting, uh, breathing harder and, and harder, trying to dissipate some of that heat. Eventually, you know, they might drop their head, mouth open, tongue hanging out froth developing around around the, <clears throat> the mouth, uh, maybe standing spraddle-legged. You know, those are all signs that those animals are really beginning to experience severe heat stress. And by that point, is it too late or should you go ahead and get the veterinarian involved? No, it's. I don't think it's too late at that point, uh, you know, but that's, that's the time when if they don't have access to shade or if you can provide a um, a mist of some kind to cool the animals down quickly, I mean, that's the time to um, try not to handle them, but, uh, but certainly make sure they have access to, to shade, airflow, you know, fan if you have to, uh, maybe water mist or something. So, so to intervene in that way if you can. Okay, kind of mobilize on behalf of the herd then. You bet. Okay, Dave Wallman, our Beef Cattle Extension Specialist. Thank, thank you. Thank you.